Good morning. Uh, this is the weekly uh, Dr. G channel information. Usually I'm doing this every Friday. <clears throat> uh, possibly in the background, occasionally I get the dog barking in the backyard from the neighbors, so just, we'll just ignore it. First of all, I hope all of you are well and uh, friends and family. Hope you're safe at home, uh, wherever that might be, other states, Southern Nevada, California, and, and so on. Um, I'm going to be looking over to the left here, my left, looking at my notes so I don't re remember, I don't forget anything. Um, we've got about a month to go, and we've made it through two weeks. Most of you are doing really, really well. Uh, it's really important that you follow the directions. I post up on uh, Canvas by noon every Saturday. So it's the syllabus for the week, covering Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You pretty much know the rot routine. You simply just have to do it. And actually, if you add up the amount of time, it's probably a lot less than um, if we were actually going to and from the classroom and spending 50 minutes. So you're, you're obligated to do that to make it through the semester, and so far, so good. Uh, just a reminder, I do send a courtesy message to those who have a video critique coming up. One thing I've noticed over the last two weeks, the quality of the video critiques have gone dramatically down. And of course, I can understand people are overloaded with so much to do and so many new things to take on and dealing with all of this health crisis. But please, I have sent out by email last week the instructions and the checklist. If you simply follow those, uh, everyone that's done it has gotten 15 out of 15. So please do that and then send it to me based on the deadline that's required for your particular video critique. Um, let's see. Okay, Saturday. I think I mentioned Saturday at noon. I usually post the, the Monday or the weekly syllabus. Uh, the final video project. Interestingly enough, just before I made this video, uh, the Innovation Center um, south of uh, the campus, about a mile and a half south, uh, it's a UNR building, great facility, just notified me by phone that they have canceled all May 2nd uh, meetings. So we will not have anything at the Innovation Center. So I'm working on what we're going to do as an alternative, and I haven't decided. So next, probably by next Friday, I'll do that. I have sent you all uh, Nick Gapp's email. Uh, he has also posted uh, tutorials on Canvas and ways of working on your final video project. Um, please email him. He does sometimes take one day to get back, but he's very, very gifted. He can also set up uh, an actual online meeting with your group where you can actually go into your computer and, and show you where to go in terms of what, what to get done. So I advise all of you this Wednesday, it may be divided up, each of you go on Canvas and look at some of the tutorials that are there. Uh, perhaps you know what to do and it's not a real big issue for you and it's not that difficult. So we have, he has plenty of support for you at this point. And his email, again, is ngapp, G-A-P-P, -P, at U-N-R dot E-D-U. Uh, he's really talented. He's really helpful. He's got a great personality. And you'll probably really enjoy it. So you get free one-on-one -on -one or group-on-group -group training there, a group-on-individual training. Uh, remember, the book critique is due on April 27th. I will email out here in the next few days the instructions of, and the checklist for the book critique which is also posted on Canvas. So if you decide to work on it ahead of time, it's there for you to, to get it done. Um, let's see. Uh, by the way, uh, the writing lab at UNR is open. Uh, we do have a couple students already using the writing lab. You can do it online. And in, in all honesty, they have plenty of free time right now, at least as of last week. Think a little bit ahead. If you expect to get on there right away, it might happen, but it may not happen. But you can set up an account there uh, and get it done. I think I sent out to all of you how to connect with uh, the UNR Writing Lab. You do get extra credit for that. However, you have to remind them, please email me that you have been there, and I'll give you extra credit for your work. So that includes the video critique, the book critique, any writing assignments, you can use the writing lab, which is, you pay for it. And I tell you, uh, it's wonderful. If you start to get the habit of using the writing lab, 
I would say 99%, 95% for sure, the grade tends to go up. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. I think that's everything now. I have not introduced Zoom so far. I know how to use it, and I use it with friends now and family. Um, I know on my CH201 class, we're having our first Zoom meeting on the 15th. Uh, one reason I don't use Zoom is uh, because some people have difficulty with it, number one. Number two, uh, it can go haywire. I think there can be problems with Zoom. And as long as our system is working so far, I think we're fine. Uh, one thing to consider, too, when we have 30 people on at the same time, we have different time zones, uh, different places, different life situations. I have some people actually going back to work. They have to work. They were here at uh, UNR working and they need to have some money and they found jobs, they won't be able to be on Zoom. But the flexibility of just knowing when the assignments are due a few days ahead, they, they can get them all done. I've had people get them all done on Saturday afternoon. They're working Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I'm trying to be flexible with you guys and not require the Zoom so far. We may have one Zoom meeting with uh, Nick Gap from the Media Lab, who will go over some of the things that he's posted and clarify uh, kind of what's going on there. Uh, anyway, I think we know what's happening. Mondays are the same routine, and you get that into me by noon. Uh, Wednesday, uh, rotate who takes charge of the group and sends me the summary for that day. And Friday, of course, is the video guide. So we're on our way. I will continue to think about how we're going to work on the final, uh, how we're going to present the final videos. Uh, one possibility is uh, that I will uh, Post them on YouTube. You guys are actually responsible to get your final video up on YouTube. You do have a checklist to go by. Nick Gap at the Media Lab has that checklist, so he can go through it with you. And we'll put them up on YouTube, and I'll just ask everybody on, on, on the honor system to go look at them and see how they've turned out. Any questions, simply text me, and I'll be happy to reply. Talk to you next week.